Hello, my name is Alisson Oliveira and I'll be presenting this video for dinandhere.com and this is um, this is basically based on a, on a question sent by my good friend Carol Martin from Lafay Hosting. She as, she's asking how to change the membership message that goes in the email uh, when someone registers to this website. But uh, the, the particular thing with this website is that it has a private uh, registration uh, process set to it. So if you go to admin, site settings, and scroll down, advanced settings, you see it's, it's set to private user registration. So uh, this is a DNN 521. Uh, normally this would be quite simple. You just have to come to admin languages and just grab a piece of this text, let's say note membership, this portal, and try to find that right here. But it doesn't find because it's not in this resource file. Now let's let's check the the, the, the shared resources. Takes a bit to load, too many resources. Okay, so let's try to search for that again. Okay, let's change a little bit here. Okay, so it's right here. See, this is the exact note that we need to change. So, again, we can just make changes here. Uh, I'm just going to put this, uh, an extra space here. Scroll down. This is the text. Scroll down. And if security is set up properly, we will be able to save this resource file without a problem. So here's the message resource file was updated successfully. So uh, so again, the problem is that uh, she was not able to find that quickly because when you open the language editor for the first time, it comes with global resource selected by default. And that particular message was not in the global uh, resource. It was actually in the shared resource. Now there's just one extra piece of information that I want to give. Actually, there are two things that I want to mention. First is that if this site is multiple, is multi-language, and in this case it is, it has a couple of different languages here at the top, as you can see by the flags, you have to select each language and change the, 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 the message for that language as well, just in case this is a good practice. And, and the last uh, note that I want to give is, in case you try to change to make change to the resource from here from the website from the website that means from the language editor and you get a, a an error message that uh, the site was not able to write to that file it's most likely because you have a security issue with uh, with the network service user so you can also download the resource file by logging in via FTP and going to this folder up, up app global resources and then download this file this is a this is text file at the end of the day you can open it locally you can make change locally and you can re-upload to the website so again you can in case you have a problem you can also do that so as i was saying you also have to make a change to the additional locales that might be added to the to the site the, the additional uh countries like here we have we have four of them um, but that's basically it. that's how you are able to change the resource file not only for email messages but uh almost each and every uh label uh, and piece of text text that is uh within within the site you can come to the language editor and make change to them okay that's it thank you